excited. Look at this day. It's an absolutely bloody gorgeous day. Yeah, that's a great sound, isn't it? Oh, I love this. Again, please. That's the good stuff right there, people. That is so cool. Oh, 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 there's a leak. Okay. All right, let's try it on the floor out. So there it is. Right, let's try that. Take two, Fizzwiz, toy car made by Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney's dad, called Mac. How can it stop doing those weird times? I don't know. Well, what weird turns do you think it should be doing? Look at the fire coming out of it. Really, really wish it wouldn't do that. It is fast. Remember, it's called a whiz, a fizz whiz. Whoa! Whoa. I had a Marmod steamroller and the engine assembly and the soldering were all utter, utter crap. So this kind of engine and he made all his engines like this similar to what you see here uh, I mean I haven't touched this for what maybe 20 years and it's still keeping its uh, its pressure in that piston I'll turn this on and now it's gonna go around freely David A. Auld made stationary engines steam rollers steam traction engines and made this crane that's what was available when I was 11. So I think we should try and get this old girl working. Well, that's really not a problem. This is the Mercer uh, model traction engine uh, made in Birmingham where real traction engines were were made. The model ran really well. I built it from a kit 
and uh, it is uh, it came to me as a machine kit ready to paint and assemble okay so I can see what the problem is straight away or at least I I could th th that is not um, it's not loose enough oh yeah see I must have checked that out oh oh see it feels like it's it's good but actually you push it in no it's not okay so I do need to improve that I can still feel where the vertigree was let's see if I could improve that popped on and yes fantastic that's yes first time in empty three million years look at this oh I love it It looks like it's away. There's seriously nothing wrong with that. I'm delighted. I was going to, you know, thinking, do I have to send it back all the way back to England? So we've got almost no noise, typical of the quality of contacts. And I'm absolutely delighted to see that running so well. I'll clean up that um, gunk all over the displacer cap. And, uh, and that'll be us. I'll be really, really happy with that engine. Pretty sure this is the rings I've ordered. Hope I'm not chopping them in half with the scissors. The teeny tiny box. So out of the four that I got, this is the one with the least flange. These beautiful little gears inside here and the cams are 
Well, the cams in particular are exactly where I want them. I don't want any more wear happening in here. Mm, anyway, uh, let's pop that back on, see if she still runs. Oh, I have a habit. Now, you guys might, might not have noticed this, but I do have a habit of fiddling where I don't need to. Probably running a bit rich. Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty even firing now. Very, very even. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, really happy. I'm most happy because I haven't actually fucked it up. No. Oh. Did you did you see guys see the way that started? Like from cold? I was gobsmacked. I thought I'd need the drill. Okay, we've got even temperatures, which means we've got well it sounds like even firing and the temperatures yeah, probably is. I'm not sure we've got a tractor out of a chicken coop before, so that's a plan. Nope. We're gonna find this tractor get it out of the chicken coop, then I'm planning to drive that tractor 6,000 miles home. This is what you get when you buy something sight unseen. Let me see if I can get you fellas in here. I like to just walk around and drink it in for a little bit. Look at it from every angle, see what we got here. Well, I'll be dipped in special sauce and fed to grandma we don't seem to have a trunk on this beauty we're going to check see if we can find spark leaders on this and i can see one has this only got one i'll be dipped in chicken shit and straw it's a good idea before we just rip into this and check the starter motorage we're gonna just turn that over got compression k neutral gears Radiator, not seeing any, d hang on, we got digicals over here, we still got chicken coop in there, the uh, ice cube juice goes in the top there, and oh, got an ignition over here, let's just take this, we're just going to take that sparkulator on out of there, and it's going to tell us a lot about the health, before this here was parked up, planned. Let's have a look at the interior here. We don't have any problem with doors. Well, we got a powerful, powerful odor of uh, day old chicken underwear. We got, we got eel, is that eelwax? That, that is a, just a touch of granddad's vintage hearing aid later machines there with side helping of earwax. That's okay, just pretend we didn't smell that. I wouldn't have believed this if I hadn't seen it. Gonna just drip some marble mystery oil in there, in the bore. Get those rings freed up. Right. Marble mystery oil, I don't know what's in it. Mystery. I know we've got sparkage in there. Let's just drop a little bit of fire water 
Okay. That's way too much. She's fine. I'll be dipped. I'm going to need a little bit of fuel directly in that carburetor again. Fuel make it happen or is primed. She wants to, she wants to start. Oh, we got fire engine. Hey, oh. Yes, 20 years, if not 30 or 40, possibly 50, and it's a little bit of smokage coming from that exhaust elator over there, but that just shows us, you know we got oil in there, okie dokie, we're about ready to see if we can drive this thing. 19,345 miles home to Tennessee. Plan. Nope, that ain't happening. Whoa, she's off. Seven and a half thousand miles. Very good result. Love it. God bless America.